Hi, welcome to lesson number three. We are moving on. After, yeah, as you can say, after the warm up with our playing card inserts, we are going to make a step closer into, into the meanings, into the structure of this wonderful divination deck. I said before that uh, the playing card order isn't the original order of the game and this video is going to show you the original order of the cards. The cards are divided into different groups and each of the groups has got a special headline like work, commerce or relationship you will see in this video when I tell you more about the groups, but it's important for you to know that there are cards which are connected with each other in a special group. I'm going to explain you now these six groups and we are starting with the first group. This one is very easy to keep in mind because it is the group of our main characters. We have the female main character and we have our male main character. Depending on who is asking the cards, one of these can be, of course, another important person in your interpretation or in the spread. Okay, so keep in mind the first of our six groups is the group number one, the main character cards. The second group is a group with five different cards. I say different cards because um, they are not all, for example, not all spades or not all clubs. There are five different cards out of uh, the game. The second group is called the Conquest of the Golden Fleece. But why has it this name? The name Conquest of the Golden Fleece is there because the big pictures are telling you the ancient legend of this conquest. Later in the next lesson, in lesson number four, we are going to take a really close look at the meanings and at those stories. Now in this lesson, it's important for you to know what card is part of what group. So you don't need the meanings now. Now focus on the different groups. So the second group is, as I said, the group called Conquest of the Golden Fleece. This group has got five different cards. And uh, later in a larger spread, for example, you can see if there are a lot of these cards, for example, that this spread might be more business or work related. Why? Because the group, the Conquest of the Golden Fleece, has got a kind of headline with the main theme of commerce, business and trade. So you can be sure that these cards are going to show very often a business situation. The Ten of Diamonds is the first card of this group. Here the story starts. It is followed by the Nine of Diamonds. The next card in this story is the King of Clubs. Followed by Four of Diamonds. And the group or the story is ending with our Ace of Clubs. As you know now, one of the most positive cards in the game. So these cards are part of the Conquest of the Golden Fleece of the second group. It is better to learn the meanings of the cards um, in order of the groups because you see that the cards 
are connected with each other and that it really makes a sense when you are learning your meanings in the groups, in the group order. So the third group of the cards is the so-called Trojan War. It is a well-known chapter in ancient history and um, so it's just like a, a must-have in this <laughs> card game. So there are nine cards in the group of the Trojan War and uh, these cards um, are symbolizing situations of private life, challenges in life, social problems. Important to know is for you that in this card group there is only one positive card. The rest of the cards are negative or have negative situations or messages. Okay, this group is starting with the Queen of Diamonds. You also find the Five of Clubs inside this group. Two of Spades is here. The Jack of Diamonds. Ten of Clubs. Followed by the Nine of Spades. Moving on with Six of Clubs. Six of Spades is being part in this group. We all know the famous horse. And the story of the group of the Trojan War is ending with the Eight of Spades. The next group is the group called um, Hermetic Science, the Marriage of Bea and Gabata or the Philosopher's Stone. There are different names for this group, but they all have the same content. Um, yes, you can say like this. Um, this, is, this group is for our relationships, for our connections, our interactions with others, our love affairs and our marriage. This group is very easy to recognize because all the big images are showing us the scene of the Alchemist laboratory. So we are always in the kitchen of the Alchemist where he is doing his experiments. So. This group is our relationship group. It is with seven cards. And this group is starting with the seven of spades. Followed by the three of clubs. You see always here the kitchen, but the situation is changing. You see differences in the picture. And it's just like different levels in our relationships, for example. We have the Four of Clubs, the Eight of Clubs, Seven of Hearts, Ten of Hearts. And the last card in this group is the Six of Hearts. You see that every picture was different. As I said before, every picture is showing you a different level of togetherness. Later in next lessons, you will get to know more about it. But now it's important for you to know this is the group for our relationships. If you see a lot of these cards in a larger spread, for example, you know, oh, it's really related to relationships or togetherness or to marriage and it's getting a bit more emotional. This group, the next group, group number five, is the largest group. It is with 19 cards. You find 19 cards in this group. 
you know from other groups that they are yes that they are um, have a connected storyline this group is different here each card is telling here its own story the picture is showing you just like i said in former lessons a story or an event from ancient mythology or from former life situations in the time in that the cards were created but you can uh, easily um, transfer this to our time now okay um, this group group number five is different because each card is there for its own. It's not connected with another card. Um, it's the chapter about our social life, happenings in social life, our fate, fate that is given to us that we have to face. This group is called the unforeseen and surprising events in life. So you can be sure that these events are not always positive. Yes. Um, so we are moving on and I'm going to show you what cards are inside this group. It starts with the two of clubs. I'm first going to show you um, what cards from the suit of clubs are inside and then from the other suits so that you have a little bit in order at least so two of clubs is inside the group the first card you can say we find also the jack and the queen of clubs in this group always telling their own story we are moving on with the cards two of hearts is inside this group you see the dog the dog you know from other oracle card games number three of hearts you might remember one of the best cards in the game five of hearts followed by eight of hearts the king of hearts and the ace of hearts Diamonds, we have two of diamonds, six and seven of diamonds, king of diamonds and ace of diamonds. We are moving on with the spades. We have the three of spades, the card four of spades, ten of spades. And group number five is closing with the couple queen and king of spades. So this was the largest group in the game. But don't be afraid of these 19 cards because later you will see knowing the stories will make it much easier for you to do your interpretation. Now we have our last group. Group number six is the group of the zodiac signs. These 12 cards are representing our zodiac signs as we still know them today. In its origins in the game, these cards were necessary to determine the time. They are part of one of the time systems in this grand Lenormand and they are used for conclusions about diseases. If these cards are not related to their time meaning, they have of course their general meaning and it is comparable with the cards from group number five, the unforeseen events. So, I'm going to tell you now what cards you will find here in uh, the group. 
and later in the lessons after this we will get to know the meanings so it is starting with the jack of hearts then we have the ace of spades you might already see what zodiac sign this can be three of diamonds nine of clubs nine of hearts and queen of hearts check of spades you can easily recognize in the picture what zodiac sign the card is showing you so this group might be an easy one for you to keep in mind too five of diamonds five of spades seven of clubs and the eight of diamonds and last card of the zodiac sign group is the four of hearts we are closing this group now we are closing the lesson number three now you know the original structure of the game you know that the 54 cards are divided into these six groups and now you are ready to move on you can make a step deeper into the meanings of these wonderful cards